Exoplanet Proxima Centauri b, circling the star closest to our solar system, has captured the imagination of the public and scientists alike, providing an enticing glimpse into worlds beyond our own. Situated just over for light years away, Proxima b represents a rare opportunity to study a potentially habitable planet in our cosmic neighborhood. Its proximity makes it one of the most accessible exoplanets for in-depth observation, fueling decades of research aimed at understanding planets that could support life. For astronomers, the discovery of Proxima b and similar worlds has reignited a passion long held by the scientific community, the search for life beyond Earth. What makes these planets particularly intriguing is not just their similarity to Earth in terms of size or orbital distance, but the possibility that some exoplanets might surpass our own world in habitability. This concept, supported by prominent thinkers such as theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, challenges conventional assumptions about what makes a planet suitable for life. Kaku, who helped pioneer string field theory, has frequently suggested that humanity should expand its search beyond Earth-like examples and consider superhabitable worlds planets that might offer climates, ecosystems, and conditions more favorable to life than those on Earth. Such planets could feature abundant liquid water, stable temperatures, moderate climates, and expanded land masses, establishing conditions for life not only to exist but to flourish. These richly biodiverse, well-balanced environments might even serve as prime candidates for human colonization in the distant future, ensuring our species' survival in the event of global catastrophes on Earth. Astronomers have long searched for a terrestrial twin a planet with characteristics very similar to our own. This quest is considered the holy grail of exoplanetary science. The development of advanced telescopes, space observatories, and sophisticated detection methods has significantly accelerated the search, allowing researchers to identify planets of similar size, mass, and orbital distance from their stars. Kaku has argued that humanity's long-term survival may depend on becoming a multi-planetary species. Earth, while our cradle, is vulnerable to existential threats ranging from asteroid impacts and supervolcano eruptions to global pandemics and climate-driven glaciations. Even the Sun, over a time scale of billions of years, will render Earth uninhabitable as it expands into a red giant. Considering these inevitable threats, the search for alternative planetary habitats is not just visionary, it is essential. However, focusing solely on Earth-like planets may limit our understanding of habitability. It risks ignoring worlds that might offer conditions even more life-friendly than our own. Expanding the search to include planets with higher levels of habitability opens up new possibilities, challenges assumptions and encourages a more nuanced exploration of the cosmos. In 2014, scientists Rene Heller and John Armstrong introduced a broader framework for evaluating habitability. They emphasized that a planet's ability to support life depends on far more than its location in the so-called Goldilocks zone the range of distances from a star where liquid water could exist. While this zone remains important, Heller and Armstrong argued that habitability is influenced by many factors, including atmospheric composition, magnetic field strength, geological activity, and the nature of the host star. Water is undeniably critical, forming the foundation for every known form of life. But it is no longer seen as the sole criterion. Observations of moons and planets in our own solar system already suggest that life could arise under extreme conditions very different from those on Earth. For instance, Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, lies far outside the Sun's habitable zone, yet harbors a subsurface ocean kept liquid by tidal heating from Jupiter's immense gravity. This demonstrates that life may exist in areas once considered hostile, indicating that our geocentric definition of habitability requires extensive re-evaluation. By emphasizing biological potential rather than rigidly adhering to Earth-like conditions, scientists advocate broadening the criteria for identifying worlds that can support life. 
The concept of superhabitable planets suggests that some may provide environments even more favorable than Earth's for the emergence and growth of life. To examine such worlds systematically, Heller and Armstrong pushed for the creation of specific exoplanet profiles, taking into account planetary size, age, host star type, orbital dynamics, and geological stability. Historically, the search for habitable planets focused on yellow dwarf stars like our Sun, under the assumption that these stars offered ideal conditions. However, research has increasingly shifted toward red and orange dwarfs. These cooler, slightly smaller stars can have lifespans ranging from 20 to 70 billion years far longer than the Sun's approximate 10 billion year life cycle. This extended stability may give life additional time to evolve into complex forms. Considering that life on Earth took about 3.5 billion years to emerge, planets orbiting older, stable stars could be biologically advanced compared to Earth, offering unique glimpses into evolutionary processes on other worlds. Nonetheless, planetary age is a double-edged sword. If a planet is too old, it may lose its internal heat, reducing tectonic activity and eliminating its magnetic field. Without such protection, the planet would be exposed to harmful stellar and cosmic radiation, diminishing its potential to support complex life. Heller and Armstrong estimated that the ideal age for a superhabitable planet is between 5 and 8 billion years older than Earth, but young enough to retain vital geophysical processes. Planetary size and mass also play vital roles in the ability to sustain life. A planet approximately 10% larger than Earth would offer more surface area and could sustain a denser, more stable atmosphere. With more mass, it could also prolong internal heat retention, keeping tectonic activity going and maintaining a protective magnetic field. Although higher gravity might pose challenges for human movement and construction, the advantages including enhanced magnetic security, a stable climate, and richer biodiversity could outweigh the disadvantages. Additionally, planets slightly warmer than Earth and with sufficient moisture could support more fertile and biologically diverse environments. On Earth, regions such as tropical rainforests exhibit the highest levels of biodiversity, benefiting from warm temperatures and abundant precipitation. A superhabitable planet with similarly advantageous conditions may support even more intricate ecosystems, providing ideal habitats for native life and future human settlers. Geography further influences habitability. Planets with fragmented archipelagos, continents, and vast coastal regions could provide shallow or marine areas, enhancing biodiversity by extending the availability of sunlight and nutrients. Such configurations might create environments that surpass Earth's ecological richness. In spite of these theoretical advantages, detecting and studying superhabitable planets remains a significant challenge. Observations are often limited by current technological capabilities, and many of the most promising candidates lie hundreds or thousands of light years away. Nevertheless, researchers remain optimistic. Some of the closest and most studied candidates are in the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima Centauri b. This red dwarf star, located 4.22 light years from Earth, hosts multiple planets, with Proxima be situated in the star's habitable zone where liquid water could theoretically exist on its surface. However, significant challenges threaten its habitability. Proxima b is likely tidally locked, meaning one hemisphere permanently faces the star while the other remains in darkness. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are also prone to intense stellar flares and high ultraviolet radiation, which could strip away planetary atmospheres over time. Proxima b's efficacy as a habitable world is cast into doubt by these factors, yet its proximity ensures it continues to be a focal point of exoplanetary research. Currently, over 5,000 exoplanets have been confirmed, with thousands more awaiting verification. Among these, a select few have been identified as potentially superhabitable worlds. 
One such example is Koi 5715.01, located approximately 700 light years away, circling a yellow dwarf star estimated to be about 6.5 billion years old. Its surface temperature is around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is about the same size as Earth, ranging between 0.72 and 1.29 Earth radii. Despite being far away and beyond current exploration capabilities, advancements in observational technology including instruments aboard the James Webb Space Telescope may soon allow scientists to analyze such planets in detail. By studying their atmospheres and chemical compositions, researchers hope to detect biosignatures or other evidence of biological activity. The search for superhabitable planets has fundamentally improved our understanding of the variety of planets and life's potential. No longer constrained by Earth-centric assumptions, scientists are exploring a spectrum of environmental conditions, including variations in atmospheric chemistry, rotation rate, axial tilt, cloud cover, and orbital eccentricity. These factors significantly influence climate stability and, by extension, a planet's capacity to support life over time. A thicker atmosphere rich in greenhouse gases, for example, could enable a planet to keep water liquid even when it orbits farther from its star than Earth. Conversely, a closer planet could remain temperate if surface or cloud reflectivity moderates solar heating. Astrobiologists are also investigating multi-planet systems where close proximity between habitable worlds could enable the transfer of organic materials through meteorites, enhancing the likelihood of life emerging a concept known as panspermia. Interplanetary material exchange could accelerate biological evolution and potentially enhance sophisticated ecosystems on neighboring worlds. As our exploration advances and our knowledge of exoplanets grows, it is becoming increasingly evident that Earth may not represent the pinnacle of habitability. Worlds with larger surface areas, stable and long-lasting atmospheres, warmer climates, abundant water, and dynamic geology may provide even better living conditions. These discoveries challenge us to redefine what it means for a planet to be habitable and push the boundaries of astrobiology, planetary science, and space exploration. The study of superhabitable planets not only enhances our understanding of life's potential throughout the universe, but also provides valuable insight into humanity's future.